Hi, it's Mike, WordPress How To's Security Tips Video 3B. This is about backing up using a plugin. Now, the plugin I'm going to be covering is called the Duplicator plugin. Now, there are a couple other plugins that I've, uh, the free plugins that, uh, well, there's actually more than a couple that will back up your database and your complete site, but uh, the only one that uh, I would really re recommend would be, um, other than Duplicator, it would be back WP up. Um, I've seen, I've heard a lot of people, you know, m make some good comments about that. So I've never personally used it. I actually use a plugin called Back In Buddy, which is a paid version. But we're going to be covering the Duplicator plugin today. Duplicator plugin is first of all, we're going to come to the WordPress dashboard and go to plugins and then add new. The Duplicator plugin will do a lot of what Backup Buddy does, but not everything. It's not quite as, uh, doesn't have the same functionality, but Duplicate Tor, we'll do a search for Duplicator. Okay, I'm going to show you the details first. It looks like it was backed up, updated just nine days ago. It's compatible up to the latest version. It's been downloaded, oh, 125,000 times has really good ratings from all the people that rated it so we're going to click install now and then we're going to click activate okay now you will have a uh, little section here called uh, on your dashboard a menu for the duplicator plugin I'm just going to click on that and we're ready to download a package okay but bef before we can actually uh, dem before I can actually demonstrate how the duplicator plugin works, we're going to have to come over to your cPanel. So you're going, going to have to log into the cPanel of your site. And I've already made a subdomain to, for my test. Um, if you do want to have a developmental site, I, I always recommend testing your backups too. Now I don't always do that with Backup Buddy because but with my really good big my important sites and some client sites I do test it even though it takes me another you know five ten minutes which you know everybody it but it's well worth to test it to make sure that your backup actually did back up everything that you wanted it to but if you don't know how to make a subdomain you'll just cl come to your uh, WordPress cPanel your cPanel of your account then you'll go down to domains and then click on subdomain now a subdomain is uh, would be like uh, this right here. See how it says business for dot ZMS Media. Well, that's business for as a subdomain of of my uh, marketing site ZMSMedia.com. It's actually basically just a, a separate domain, even though it's a subdomain of this one. That's uh, that's about all I understand about it too. But uh, Google treats it like a, su a separate domain also so it's a uh, subdomains are a good way to test your site or keep a a, a site that you can uh, test plugins and you know that sort of thing on to make sure they work before you try it on your main site so anyway we're getting back to the duplicator plugin we have to come down we have to first of all we have to make a MySQL database for our 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 new backup that we're going to restore okay so Come over to MySQL Databases under Databases, MySQL Databases, click on that. Now the duplicate, and th the reason we're I'm doing this, you don't have to do this to actually back up your site, but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm going to test it after we're done. And you also need to do this if, say, you want to make a clone of a site that you like and all the basic configurations, you want to clone, on, clone it onto a new domain. Uh, the duplicator plugin does a great job of that for a lot of uh, basically not real complicated sites but so first we're going to make a new database create database okay and then go back and now we have to make a database user so we're just going to call this test six also and you have to put in a couple pa password a couple times This video is going to be a little bit longer than uh, some of the other ones, but um, you just have to go through this process. But once you get this process down, you can do it in uh, it, it very quickly. And you can just, if you have a site that you like, if you're making uh, 
Amazon niche sites or AdSense sites or just blogs that you're you know if you have a really cool a cool theme and all the plugins configured you can uh, clone your, that site and then uh, put it on to a new domain in a snap so it's really handy so now we've got our database user now we just have to uh, hook the two together the database and the user so we could database user we called that guy sit test six and we also called the database test six so we're going to, going to do this <clears throat> and then you click add now you click the little box that says all privileges and then you'll say make changes okay so we've got that taken care of now we're going back to our WordPress dashboard and we have the the data the duplicator dashboard the package name you can choose whatever name you want but it just by default it gives you the date and then the uh, the domain name you know that's the subdomain business for and we will check your servers compatibility we're not going to bother with that okay up here this is create a package we're going to click on that create a package okay scan size is over one gigabyte but I not finish on some hosting providers yeah, like I said this is duplicator does a good job but not on uh, real big sites so it does have some limitations but everything does we're just going to click on create a package set okay we've got our package set uh, let's see view one okay download SQL file down show download links looks like you can download your database file here your your SQL file my SQL file and you can show your download links uh, this is first of all to uh, duplicate your site now you want to ha you'll have to download the installer which is a script which makes everything work we're going to save that and then we have to download the package which is a zip file with all your backed up files in there we'll download that now you don't have to uh, you know of course clone your site to use the duplicator plugin like it said it has your you can download your database file you can have your site just backed up and that way just do regular backups and then if you ever do need to back you know reinstall your site you'll have your site backed up if you do but I do recommend testing your backups at least uh, the first few times to make sure they work and if it's an important site then I would test it almost every time so that's what we're going to do right here so we've got the two files downloaded now I'm going back to my cPanel and you will go over to the file manager okay we're going to the web root I've got a bunch of subdomains on here already I'm going to find the subdomain that I want to and down, upload the uh, the installer script and the uh, package zip the download zip so I'm just going to click on upload and then we have to find the okay so here they are here's the here's the zip file I'm going to browse again and get the uh, installer file pause the video while it downloads uploads okay that didn't take too long now I've got those uh, uploaded to the uh, test do test subdomain I'm just going to click on this go back okay we've got those so now what we want I'm gonna rename this I've done this before so I'm gonna rename this to see it I have more than one copy on my download file so I'm going to rename it just installer.php make it a little simpler now what we want to do We'll come over to a, a new tab, and I'm going to uh, navigate to my my subdomain. Okay, I just navigated to it. Now we have the index. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the installer.php. Okay, now we have to put in our our user, and you know if you can't remember it, make sure you write those down. And keep the copy of copy of them uh, 
your your user and your database name somewhere with with your in a text file with your with your uh, zip files and stuff that way you'll be able to use it okay and then we just have to enter in the password we gave the uh, database user now you'll have to also click it says database creation allow options you'll have to also click the check the uh, table remover removal I'm going to test the connection connection successful okay so now all we do now I have read all warnings and notices yes and we'll run deployment it gives you a, it gives you several chances to make sure you're not making a mistake um, this it will over, overwrite an existing database okay have make sure to have backups of all your data before proceeding okay okay update tables we'll click on that okay I'm going to uh, this will resave permalinks this will update URL rewrite items like HTX this requires login I'm not going to bother with that I'm going to click on test entire site okay it looks like it did a pretty darn good job of duplicating that site uh, which is right here looks the same to me I'll just go over here and click on a couple pages so that's how you back up your site and then duplicate it uh, either onto a, either restoring it onto your site or moving it on to uh, a, another site so you can just clone it onto another site so that's using the duplicator plugin so Hope you found this helpful, guys. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, comment, and rate. And as always, keep on keeping on.